blue dots and the red dots are the locations that the enemy has spawned in in the building. The red dots are the occupied positions in the buildings uh, by enemy. Uh, this is for testing only. I added the code to see to see the enemies and to see uh, where they spawn. Um, if there's a percentage of the enemies that spawn, I think it's 40%, so up to 40%, I'll check in a sec. Now, this, this is the objective marker. This is, this is objective lick, L-I-C-H. There are several, several objectives across the map at various towns. I'll show you that uh, later when I exit the, edi the editor. Uh, my voice, uh, my speaking is uh, too clear, so sorry for that. Alright, I was going to show you this. Uh, yeah, you ever see that? Alright, spans, here you go. Okay, from the buildings, it's going gonna, it's gonna, to uh, mark the positions in the buildings and the buildings that the uh, enemy are in. Do, 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 mark each building in the radius. Mm -mm -mm. The radius is distance close. And distance close is 100 meters. All right. Okay, do, do, do. we make a marker, which is a dot color is blue, all these are blue. Um, the red dots count as the blue dots, but it's a different color because those actually have enemies. Let's see. Okay, move this. Copy this up here. Okay, let's put it right here. Da -da -da -da. All right. Call it red. These are the guys occupying the building, as I said. And da, 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 nearest object. Uh, the objective. Place of the objective in the building. It's supposed to uh, put a yellow dot on the marker. Well, not on the marker per se, but it will in this time. Or for now. We'll make a yellow dot for the objective. You can't see it because of the marker. But that's what this code does here. And for this part, the building's greater than zero. Ba -ba -ba. Okay, hey, down here, I believe, is uh, if we uh, spawn a marker lick, uh, or whatever it might be called, up here, there's a list. Zeus, Chimera, Hera, Wyvern, Kraken, Dragon, Dionysus, Hydra, Lick, Gorgon, and Thor. Those are the markers, which we will see when I exit the editor. Anyway, if there's uh, not a building within 100 meters, then it's going to do the, uh, the else part of the code down here. It'll, s it'll uh, set enemies, it'll place the objective, but there won't be any buildings nearby for it to place them in. Alright, let's go back to this. Oh, also I have a special code to teleport to anywhere in the map that I want. So, we're up here at the base. A bunch of airplanes, uh, a bunch of helicopters actually. Right out. Some uh, um, characters or units. 
some units here, some units here, and these units. I think we're all in a group with these guys here. Anyway, I can uh, teleport anywhere in the map that I want to, which is also for testing because uh, the can fly the helicopter to the objective and you can just teleport to test it. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright, let me show you the teleport code. Okay. Send the teleport code. It's triggered by a radio trigger, which you can see in the editor. In the in the editor when I'm uh, not actually in the game, playing the game. All right. This this position, the exposition for every player in the group that the players that the player was grouped with. And that's it. All right, so where's my cursor? There it is. Get in that, get in that. Task auto generated. It always says this to destroy the objective. There's like a, a box of grenades and a supply cache. Not a supply cache, a supply box also. Just for testing mostly. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna teleport. There's an enemy here, an enemy there. Uh, but then let's teleport into the trash here. And let's put the objective. The objective. There's a yellow marker to show the objective. And it is zero. And we should get alpha. And we click. And then we all appear here. So go to the front. Go back into the game. Form staggered column. Yeah, this guy's still set up. Okay. Turn his voice off. No. Crap. Damn it. Okay, anyway. We don't want any music. We don't want this. Alright. That'll do. That's the setting. VON, make it zero. And we can use team, use team speak. You can still hear everybody in uh, the voice chat. So the voice chat and the radio chat, and the long range radio, and the uh, direct chat. So we're just talking to them. And we're going to make them both. Make it a little night vision. That's all we've done right here. Building. Sniper, 100 meters left. Contact, AT soldier. Man down. Last one. Soldier, seventy five meters right. Soldier, seventy five meters right. Whatever. 
marker for the uh, objective 71 meters point. Contact! AT soldier! Contact! Man! Soldier! 75 meters front! Contact! Soldier! Sniper! 100 meters! Front! Wastes a lot of time if you're developing a mission. Okay. You test it out and end up playing it too long. That might be true. So you just need to make sure that it's working as intended. Start the mission. Um, first, we'll look at the map. When we start, we can we can restart the mission from scratch. I think uh, respawns are on, but we'll see. Close this. All right, here are my markers, as I mentioned. Uh, da -da -da. Lake. Dionysus. Hydra. Nothing, dragon, and, and so forth. Just a few markers. Um, this here, the op 
Opwar site. I took a uh, one of the modules for Opwar site just to have some enemies. I was uh, well, I am spawning some of them in, but the Opwar site makes it uh, populate it, and it's a little bit easier. It does some things that I wanted to do, but it doesn't do everything. So I'm gonna have to spawn the enemies that I want. Uh, -bum -bum. So I have to pick a direction for where this mission is going. The at first it was going to be uh, a single, like single player mission or multiplayer mission. You start the game, you start the mission. Well, we start the game and start the mission. You get an objective to uh, to destroy, you know, whatever. It said destroy object. Excuse me, destroy. <laughs> of course, destroy the objective, which is fine. It'll, it'll it'll create other tasks like recon of some area, so you go over there and you recce it, or uh, maybe it'll be to capture somebody or rescue somebody, like hostage rescue. And it'll be in various parts of the map, you know, populated areas like uh, Kabbalah, the city, the largest city, which is really the size of a fucking town, but whatever. This town here. You have some people here, or some objectives there, out in the mountains, here, for example, there could be something there. Not now, because there's no marker. Anyway, I have to place them in a certain area in case I, uh, I spawn uh, vehicles. If I, I don't want the vehicles to blow up when they spawn, and they can land on top of each other, on top of each other. they try to take the same space blow up and that's it's kind of exciting it might be interesting but it will defeat the purpose unless I spawn more and give them some variation but if I spawn too many it's going to lag my game even more anyway um, so, th so those are the markers in various places um, I was going to create a mission so that you go in give you a task you complete that task and then uh, you go on to the, the next task um, but I don't want it to be so generic that it's it's kind of dull after a while. What I want is a, a, um, a cohesive task or a task package. And we'll, each task, wherever you happen to go, will lead to the next task or one of the other tasks or, tasks or give you hints or something. It has to be some kind of a continuity. No, not just continuity. They all tie together somehow. And this should be like a story. Maybe not a real story, but there's like a story there. You find uh, an ammo cache, you destroy the ammo cache, you find some documents uh, that points to, I don't know, somebody, some rebel group that's going to build up. So you go up there to recce them, and then you go and attack, and you destroy them. You capture some more documents, and uh, you know, some people get killed by IEDs or booby traps. And then you find, uh, oh, there's a, a booby trap maker. So you want to get the uh, the bomb making materials destroyed. You want to find the bomb maker and and so forth. And it'll all lead to something that makes sense. Just so that there's a bit more. That's one thing. The other thing is to create a more cohesive story, a more tight story, a very specific story, and then uh, use the markers, the, the randomness. To develop that, but uh, I don't know about that yet. But I would like to create a like a, some kind of Green Beret mission, like Vietnam era Green Beret. You know, some of the missions they did at that time, at that time, and set them like set them up like that somehow. You know, the A team, B team, the C team, uh, maybe three A teams to one B team. Three B teams to one C team, so we'll have one C team, one B team, and three A teams out of the B team, all running ops in in certain sectors. Anyway, they could have missions specific to the the Green Berets, which would be pretty excellent, I think. Um. Anyway, anyway, this is that. I just told you. And all of this, these markers are just here. There's nothing to do anything. 
except for the uh, the modules where I put in the uh, the op four sites. Make the spawn op four in the area. Let's maybe a patrol. Some static people. Let's see if we can be in buildings. Put the uh, patrol. It's gonna be a foot patrol. It's gonna be a foot patrol and a vehicular patrol. And the vehicular patrol is of course outside um, patrolling the area. Uh, da -da -da. Here are the characters you can uh, become, as it were, in the role selection screen. I have my Zeus tied to. Could be this guy. I'm not sure. Support. Doesn't look like he is tied in there. This guy has tied tied to Zeus, so I'm gonna select him. <coughs> and we're like the only one Zeus, so far as I know. Alright. Tied into Zeus. Okay, let's and go support. Virtual or tactical costume. All these are virtual set. So I'm gonna save it. Export it. Multiplayer missions. All right. We saw the last thing. The friendlies spawn friendlies and spawn enemies, and the enemies had several spawn points due to the pre-rat, and so do the friendlies. These are just going to appear one appear here at the base. There won't be uh, several spawn points, and for the objective. The multiple spawn points essentially is the objective. The objectives can be spawned here, 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 or down there, right here. For now. Anyway. And last time the, uh, they spawned units, and the units were made to attack a marker position, which uh, was like basically between the friendlies and the enemies. And this doesn't have that. I can add it, of course. But it, it uh, seems to change the structure of the, uh, what I'm doing some, somewhat. Anyway, this is Cobra version 1, so they haven't really changed anything yet. And mm, let's go get. Okay, here's the Cobra, the main file. Look for the objective, da da da. And I was thinking of adapting this somehow. Maybe changing the character of it entirely. So, have the objective, the markers, and create the, uh, the units with the markers and the objective. I need to think about this a bit more. And as to uh, far as far as how I'm gonna change it, I might just go for that green ray thing I was talking about. But I play with a three power group, and it really should be a three power mission. I mean, like the inspiration for doing this partly was for the three powers, and they're uh, a special forces support group. They're a you know infantry group. They're a, well, they're a paratrooper group, obviously. So the one power, two power, three power, four power set, and five power. They all have slightly differing missions, not necessarily different capabilities, but uh, they, they also have a recce unit. So three para, they're like the fist that comes in and punches the enemy. You might have the SAS or the SDS who may be working together, or three paras may have to come in and rescue, quote unquote, rescue the SAS. They're pinned down in a place. Um, Taking heavy fire, maybe getting casualties by the enemy, and they can't extract themselves directly by helo, by water, whatever, um, or by or by on foot. So they're like basically just stuck, stuck there, pinned down. Then you might call in the three paras, short notice, fly them to the place, drop them, 
either you know, air airdrop them or drop the helicopter in the ground and let them start running and then just go and uh, fuck up the enemy and then just kill them all really fast and really hard that's what the three towers are doing and they can uh, secure an area on their own like we're going to take this sector so your sector secure this sector and they extinguish all the enemies within that sector and they set up the perimeter to be secure checkpoints whatever um, I don't know if they build bases but uh, they'll have a base for sure and they'll set up uh, patrols several patrols in several different directions and they'll just keep the enemy at bay um, that's basically it it's the fist that you call in when you need uh, help or it's the fist that you, to, that you call in if you need to extract extricate the enemy from a, an, an entrenched position for example an entrenched town a trench city whatever um, and you get them there and they do it maybe they go into enemy territory behind enemy lines take over place keep that secure and keep the enemy out while they drop more troops in and and they uh, suddenly start to push out like uh, I don't know they dropped in here enemy here enemy here enemy here enemy all around they drop here they want to take this port town for some reason maybe because it's got a port I don't know anyways take the t they'll drop in here hard and fast maybe they do the airdrop however they get inserted they could go by boat it doesn't matter they'll take it over they'll, they'll, they'll stand fast and then we'll come and attack them, hit them hard, but they they can't they won't be broken. They'll stay they'll stay, and they'll uh, start sending out patrols and recce, and they're gonna take over take over this town next, take over this town, this town, this town, and basically wipe the enemy out, push them back, and we'll secure the area, and then uh, the regular military, for example, will come in. They'll send in the, the regular forces in, military forces, also infantry and maybe naval forces and whatever. And they'll come in and they'll, uh, they'll eventually take over the mission once they have the base established. And they might send the three towers somewhere else out of the country or they might go into the next mission and, uh, I don't know, get this or wherever they go. But it's like they hit hard and fast. That's the three tower way. So anyway, that's kind of the idea. It's like, oh, uh, you come here, you have to destroy your objective, get the nibble the enemy, you smash them, and you destroy it. But you can assume that there are civilians in the area, which is why you're sending people in. You're not just uh, carpet bombing the area, for example. And, uh, I don't know if the British will do that. Americans will. It's like you send people in, you're not getting the objective, and you say, fuck it, we're just going to carpet, carpet, carpet bomb the whole area. And either you tell them in advance, in advance, get out, civilians leave, we're going to bomb the area, or you don't, and you just, uh, because your objective is to kill the enemy, you just uh, go ahead and do carpet bombs and make sure the objective is, the objective is destroyed. Anyway, so every time this runs, It'll pick a new place, and it'll test that. It should uh, pick a marker, spawn the enemy, the enemy, or yeah, spawn the enemy, and the objective, and show the marker in that new place. 